If you don't mind me going into it, you mentioned that recently got diagnosed with ADHD. So, like, how did you, like, come by that? Like, what made you want to get tested for it? If I'm honest, I first started seeing things on TikTok, I think, as a lot of people do nowadays. I think what really turned my attention in particular was I can't go to sleep without a fan on or something. And my girlfriend's in and she'll tell you it drives her mad. (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's sort of started my thoughts with it really and I was always the most energetic kid growing up parents would be like bloody hell like he's got a lot mm. of energy this lad and mm. I went to get assessed for something else I had two assessments that day and I was like can you just assess me for this mm. that's where I got that diagnosis from and you weren't too bothered about it you're just like I've just got no, this it uh... just it just explained a lot of things for me really I used to get in so much trouble for being late to my track camps and stuff like that mm. But it just explains why, really. I just have a, an inability to keep track of time. Like I was late to this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just I think I have more time than I than I do. It just explained a lot for me, really, and it's just going to help me moving forward, really. Being able to let people know you might have to work around it, and same for me. You know, mm. It's just good to good to know. And from your cycling teams, have they ever since that have they given you like extra support in any way as well because um, of it? No, because I, I dealt with it for eighteen years, so. Mm. There's no reason for me to... I guess to, you're just used to it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, no, so. I don't think there's any reason to make a big deal of it. But I think a lot of sports people do, and they just mm. don't realise. It's certainly not something to be ashamed of at all. If anything, it can help you to raise awareness for other people as well.